everyone talking about Isola Blue by Raja. This just came out in 2023. The notes in there are lemon, bergamot, thyme, lime, lavender, apple, black currant, coconut, orange blossom, jasmine, lily, champaca, cut grass, mate, galbanum, pink pepper, anise seed, which I think is just anise seed, um, patchouli, oak moss, cedar, juniper berry, vanilla, tonka, amber, orris, birch, leather, ambergris, and musk. I like this. Uh, sharp citrus with, citrus with fresh spice. Some other fruits, and then there's like happy yet elegant florals. Tropical, but not in a like cliche or sugary way. And I like the ones that are just like tropical, you know, passion fruit, this and that. Ones like that kind of just smell like a good smoothie or mixed drink or something like that. But this is nice to have one that's a little bit more high end. And this is much more unisex, even leaning masculine at times than the typical kind of tropical, which tends to lean feminine. Yeah, like just a more refined take on a tropical scent. As it progresses, it gets more herbal with the mate, galbanum, grass, patchouli, and oak moss, but there's plenty of other stuff in there too, so it doesn't get like pungent or like too much in that direction. There's this like zing of warm pink pepper and juniper adds this like fresh spice too. And then a slightly powdery sweet touch as well, but not at all cloying, at least not to me. It always stays very like, yeah, the citrus vibe lasts surprisingly long here. Um, just really nice mix. Very reminiscent of Oligarch, also by Raja. Some people are like, it's like 100% identical. It's been a bit since I smelled Oligarch, so I can't speak to that, but I like that one as well. So I'm pretty sure either way, anybody who likes that would like this. Yeah, this is really, really good for my taste. Uh, good longevity, moderate to good projection, and yeah, pretty unisex overall, I would say. Leans a little bit more masculine by the dry down, but it's a little bit sweeter in the opening, so I just think a nice balance. But the price is ridiculous, which of course anyone has probably come to expect with Raja, but I, as I always say, I'm not the type of person who just says that by default for Raja. Like, I think if you can get Elysium on sale, that it's worth it. That's full bottle worthy for to me. I know it's popular, but I absolutely love it. This is $485 for a 50 milliliter bottle. I mean, I really like it. I think it smells fantastic. And just, yeah, it's kind of a lot of checks off of boxes of what I'm looking for in a scent, but I mean, almost $500 and not even for a 100 milliliter full-size bottle, just a, a 50 milliliter. Yeah, I mean, I can't, it's hard to say that that's not overpriced. I definitely think it is, but I do really like this. So if we're just talking about the smell, yes, I love it. Uh, but I can't say that unless you really have a lot of money to burn, that this would be worth $500 for a relatively small bottle. But I do think it's really good and uh, yeah, very similar to Oligarch.